First, we take you to Washington State. Introducing Evergreen Point Floating Bridge. This bridge is not only an engineering marvel, but also the longest floating bridge in the world. Isn't it amazing? So how does this bridge work? The Evergreen Point Floating Bridge is 2,349 meters long and is built on floating platforms on Lake Washington. These platforms float on the lake like giant rafts, ensuring the bridge remains stable. What makes this bridge special is not only its length, but also the incredible technologies that engineers used in this project. First, let's take a look at the dimensions of the Hoover Dam. The dam is exactly 221 meters high and 379 meters long. This massive structure was built using exactly 2.6 million cubic meters of concrete. That's enough concrete to build the Empire State Building in New York City three times over. Isn't that incredible? The engineering techniques used in the construction of the dam are equally impressive. The Hoover Dam was built by pouring the concrete layer by layer. This allowed the concrete to dry quickly and prevent cracking. The cooling pipes used during the construction of the dam increased the durability of the concrete by dissipating the heat inside. Once completed, the California High Speed Rail will take you from San Francisco to Los Angeles in just 2 hours and 40 minutes. Isn't that incredible? This train will travel at 354 kilometers per hour, taking you from one end of California to the other at the speed of light. So what makes this project so special? First, let's take a look at the engineering techniques used during the construction of this high-speed rail line. The California High-Speed Rail is America's first high-speed rail line, and the latest technology is used during its construction. Despite the difficult terrain and earthquake risk, the train line is being built extremely safely and sturdily. This project is not just a real estate development project, but also a symbol of engineering genius. The innovative engineering techniques used in the construction of Hudson Yards highlight the scale and complexity of the project. So what makes this project so special? First, let's take a look at the infrastructure of Hudson Yards. This massive complex covers a total of 1.7 million square meters, with more than 30 buildings. The engineering techniques used to underpin these buildings are designed to cope with the heavy traffic and underground infrastructure of New York City. The active rail lines and tunnels that run beneath Hudson Yards are supported by special platforms and columns. One of the biggest challenges faced during the construction of the Central Subway was the city's heavy traffic and groundwater conditions. However, engineers developed innovative solutions to overcome these challenges. The tunnels are constructed with waterproof concrete and special coatings, protecting them from groundwater and leaks. In addition, constant monitoring and maintenance are carried out to ensure the stability and safety of the tunnels. Another striking aspect of this project is that it is environmentally friendly and sustainable. The Central Subway is equipped with highly energy-efficient systems and uses renewable energy sources. In this way, urban transportation becomes both environmentally friendly and economical. Imagine, the world's largest cruise port, the Port of Miami welcomes millions of passengers every year, which is why it deserves the title of cruise capital of the world. But don't think that this port is limited to cruise ships, it is also the heart of trade. Millions of tons of cargo pass through here every year, connecting America to the world. So, what makes this port so special? First of all, its construction is pure engineering genius. The work done to deepen, expand and modernize the port is simply breathtaking. With giant cranes, automated systems equipped with advanced technology and huge container terminals, Port of Miami is truly the port of the future.
This dam not only produces energy, but also has great importance for agriculture and irrigation. Thanks to the Grand Coulee Dam, large agricultural areas of Washington State can be irrigated, which increases the agricultural production of the region tremendously. In other words, this dam is not only a source of energy, but also a source of life. The construction of the dam is a true engineering triumph. Years of meticulous work, the labor of thousands of workers, and the superior intelligence of engineers brought this huge project to life. The concrete pouring process, the construction of the dam's massive walls, and finally the control of the water are a miracle in every stage. LAX is a massive transportation hub, handling approximately 88 million passengers each year and being one of the busiest airports in the United States. Opened in 1928 and continuously expanded and modernized since then, this airport serves travelers not only from America but from all over the world. The construction of the new Mario M. Cuomo Bridge was a major revolution in the engineering world. This new bridge, built to replace the old bridge, was built using modern engineering techniques. The combination of steel and concrete used to increase durability extends the life of the bridge, while advanced technology systems maximize safety and efficiency. The Las Vegas Convention Center used to be a landmark in its own right, but now it's undergoing an engineering marvel transformation. This isn't just an expansion, it's a game changer. First, let's talk scale. This expansion adds 1.4 million square feet of space. Yep, that's right, that's enough space to comfortably fit 14 football fields. Whether it's major trade shows, world-class conventions, or high-tech expos, this venue has the capacity to host it all and more. O'Hare is not just an airport. It is a marvel of modern engineering and a bustling hub that connects the world. With more than 83 million passengers passing through each year, it is one of the busiest airports on the planet. So how did this monumental structure come to life? Chicago is growing and the need for a new airport is urgent. Fast forward to today, and what stands before you is an engineering masterpiece. The transformation of O'Hare over the decades is nothing short of epic. First of all, this airport covers an area of 69.63 square kilometers, making it the second largest airport in the United States. Imagine that huge area. It doesn't just have runways and terminals, it also has shopping malls, hotels, and even a golf course. But what about its capacity? DFW Airport serves over 75 million passengers every year. Yes, that number surprises you, doesn't it? When we take a look at the technologies used to manage this huge passenger traffic, the first thing that comes to mind is the fully automated baggage systems and the latest security technologies. Tesla Gigafactory is located in the middle of the Nevada desert and covers an area of 1.9 million square meters. Yes, you heard right, this is one of the largest buildings in the world. Elon Musk's imagination and engineering skills come to life here and revolutionize the world's energy consumption. So, what does this giant structure produce? Tesla Gigafactory produces lithium-ion batteries and parts of Tesla vehicles. These batteries are the heart of electric vehicles and are also vital for energy storage systems that can be used in homes. The batteries produced in this factory support energy independence worldwide with Tesla's energy storage solutions.
Chase Center is located in the heart of San Francisco and is known as the new home of the Golden State Warriors. But it's not just a basketball court. It's also a massive complex designed for concerts, shows, and major events. It's hard to believe, but it can hold a whopping 18,064 people. The construction of Chase Center is a perfect example of modern engineering and design. First of all, the architecture of the complex is stunning. The exterior is designed to reference San Francisco's iconic waterfront using undulating glass and steel. This design adds a gorgeous aesthetic to the city and looks stunning at all times. The Spiral is a magnificent structure rising in the heart of Hudson Yards and takes its name from its unique spiral form. Standing at 314 meters tall, this building has gained an important place in the New York skyline and draws attention with its office floors, each of which turns into a terrace. Yes, you heard right. One of the biggest features of the Spiral is the large green terraces on the exterior of each floor and surrounding the entire building. When you enter, you are greeted by modern design and advanced technology. The Spiral is fully equipped with smart building technologies, 